Hello, my name is Dr. Mary Semplaski and I'm a urologist here at Keck Medicine of USC. I specialize in vasectomies, vasectomy reversals, and male infertility. Today we are going to be talking about vasectomies. Um, this is uh, a procedure with a bit of a legend behind it. Um, when we do a vasectomy, we are basically blocking the tube that sperm swim through. So sperm are made in the testicle and then they swim through the vas and then they are expelled from the male body. So the testicle itself stays in place and all we are doing is blocking the tube that the sperm swim through. Myth number one, it is painful. Vasectomies do not have to be, do not have to be painful. Um, we do them in the clinic, they take about 45 minutes and we use plenty of numbing medication. Um, we have plenty of medication and the physicians want it to be painless for you and usually we can make it pretty darn close to painless. Um, if during the procedure you feel any discomfort, we'll give you more. Um, and for my patients, I would say about 90% of them, if not more, say that it was not as bad as they were thinking. Myth number two, vasectomy works immediately. Uh, this is not true. The, uh, are still, there's still plenty of sperm in the vasal stump, so the piece of vas that uh, is attached to your body, um, there's still tons of sperm there. So the first 10 ejaculates have near normal numbers of sperm. Um, the testicle is still there, so sperm are still being produced, um, but they are hitting a roadblock. But it's very important after three months after the procedure to check a sperm test to confirm that all those sperm from the stump are not getting out. Um, so they don't work immediately. When they do work, they're very effective, but they do not work immediately. Myth number three. Vasectomy will affect sexual function. This is also a myth. Um, vasectomies have nothing to do with testicular function or erections, and we have good data to show that, this, that they do not affect sexual performance. Um, the bulk of the ejaculate fluid comes from the prostate, and the prostate is still left intact. All we are doing is blocking the tube that the sperm swim through. Um, there's also very good evidence showing that vasectomies improve relationship satisfaction scores. We think that this is because the male is taking one for the team and the wives are happy and a happy wife makes a happy life as the saying goes. Um, but it should not uh, affect erections, ejaculation, or other measures of sexual performance. Myth number four, vasectomies are not reversible. This is also not true. Um, while doing a vasectomy is a relatively straightforward procedure and reversing them is a little bit more complicated, they most certainly are reversible. Um, reversing them is done at an operation. Um, it takes, it's, it's a definitely a more delicate procedure than blocking the tube, um, but we do them with a very high degree of success. Um, the testicle again is still there, so the testicle is still making sperm. When we do the reversals, we just reconnect the tubing to uh, essentially restore the original anatomy. And myth number five, vasectomies are associated with an increased risk of prostate cancer. This is not true. This is a bit of an old wives' tale. We used to think that vasectomies were associated with an increased risk of prostate cancer, but now we know that it's actually more of a selection bias. So men who have vasectomies are more likely to have a family doctor. They're more likely to get screened for cancers and therefore cancers are detected more frequently. But this doesn't mean that they're at a higher risk. It just means that they're captured more quickly. Um, I hope this has been a helpful session. If you have further questions about vasectomies or vas reversals, you are welcome to uh, see myself or one of the other urologists in our team. Um, you can make an appointment by calling 1-800-USC-CARE. Uh, and thank you for your attention.